So let's get into how to actually use B-Raw Toolbox. You'll get an icon up here. If you have multiple plugins, um, you'll have this little plugin icon, this little puzzle piece, and it'll be in one of the plugins in there. Or if not, it'll just be the one plugin that's right here, this little B-Raw Toolbox icon. So when you're ready to import, you click on this little icon, this dialog box will open, and then you'll click on import B-Raw files down here. And then you'll navigate through your system. So I normally have it um, in column view. If you wanna select kind of more than one folder at a time, you'll have to do it in list view. And then you'll have to twirl down the various folders that you want in order to access all the different folders at once, right? So like, let's say this scene plus these inserts, if I wanted to import those all at the same time, then I'd have to use list view. In this case, let's just get like one of these, we'll just import like one file, okay? And then I'll make a multicam with it. And this is, okay, you're gonna have to pay attention because like you're, this is gonna hurt your brain a little bit, okay? Okay, so check this out. We're gonna import footage from this scene 71 slash scene 73 take one. There's only one B-Raw clip in there. And then the rest was shot with some Sony cameras, okay? Um, and these were shot simultaneously. I wanna make a multicam with them. But I'll play around with the footage and, and you get to kind of see uh, how this whole process works, right? Okay, so we'll select that. And you see it in this, um, you know, player and everything. And if you had selected a bunch of them, they'll all list here and you can kind of cycle through them. And if you felt like it, you could change your settings in here now if you wanted, um, but you don't have to. We can actually change these settings within Final Cut itself. Now, next step, you'll click this gear icon down here, and then there's these different settings that you're gonna choose. Normally, you wanna create multicam clips of the B-Raw footage that you pull in, but now this is what's gonna break your ba brain. If, pay attention. If you wanna actually create a multicam clip using B-Raw footage, then you have to uncheck this, okay? I know that's weird, um, but the what's happening is the way the developer had to do this is that they had to create these workarounds in order to bring B-Raw footage into Final Cut in order for Final Cut to actually use it, okay? So normally, if you're not making multicams, multi have the B-Raw Toolbox make a multicam clip for you. Um, if you're gonna make multicams, my recommendation, uncheck that create multicam clips and then you'll create them manually yourself later because this create multicam clips is not actually creating a traditional multicam clip. It's creating a multicam clip that is a workaround in order for you to use B-Raw within Final Cut Pro. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. I'm sure I've confused the hell out of you. Oh well. <laughs> okay, uh, hopefully not. Now, basically what you do, experiment with it and then see what I mean. And then you'll, 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 you'll understand. Okay. Now, another kind of weird workaround that you got to do. You got to choose an audio folder. So for whatever reason, again, this is some workaround that the developer had to do in order to get B-Raw to work within Final Cut Pro is like, even though there's audio attached to your B-Raw file, um, the developer of B-Raw Toolbox has to split the video and the audio into two separate things and then reconnect it in Final Cut Pro using the aforementioned multicam or synchronized clips um, that I was mentioning before. So 
it's up to you where you save these files. Um, in this case, I'm just going to save it in the same folder that we um, are pulling from, just so that they're all kind of in the same place. And you'll have to do that every time, at least in this version of B-Raw Toolbox, you'll have to do it every time and choose which folder to save it in. Otherwise, it'll always choose the same folder. So you can have one generic one, but my preference is to keep the footage and the audio together, just it's a little bit more organized. And then now, once you're done with that, you'll click on this prepare B-Raw files. It's doing its thing, it's extracting. And then now, if you're not familiar with the toolbox, the plugin, definitely read this because it's telling you, you now need to drag a thing into the library. So we're gonna do that. So please make sure you drag it into the library, not an event or a project, otherwise nothing will happen. Okay, keep that. So what they're talking about is take this green icon down here and you can see that tool tip, you gotta drag this onto the library. Not anything below here because nothing will happen, but into here. It's doing its thing, it creates a new event and it's done whatever it needs to do. And now you can close this if you're done importing. And then we can kind of see what we've got going on here. I just press Shift Z to shrink that down. And now we are looking at B-Raw in a Final Cut 10 project. This is awesome. Um, that's fantastic. We can make a new project. Um, I'll put it actually in the other event. Click OK here. For me, I don't like these separate events. Like, that's just not our preference. So what I do is I just like combine these events together. Um, and I just like to have one event. Right now, this clip is a synchronized clip, not a multicam clip, because what I'm gonna do now is import regular footage from that same scene, uh, not regular footage, Sony, Sony footage. So now we have different clips that we can kind of play around with, right? So this is B-Raw. We can take a look at that. And then later I'll make a multicam clip with these and you can see how that works. So what this is, this is a synchronized clip and uh, we can view it like normal. And it seems to, you know, it's working fine right now. Simple project, you can totally use this footage. Um, not that big of a deal. And if you want to access the raw uh, settings, what I've done is I've double clicked into the synchronized clip. All this is is just a solid. And then they've applied the B-Raw Toolbox plugin onto this and then attach the audio to this. So again, like lots of workarounds. So to actually kind of see more about this, you go into the plugin settings over here and then there's B-Raw Toolbox and then we can like show parameters and here we can change like all the different raw settings. So, uh, you know, we wanna make this darker, for example, bring the ISO down, mess around with exposure, any of that stuff. Let's say we didn't like your color temperature and so on, right? Like amazing. You can even turn on highlight recovery. This is not necessarily the best scene for that, but like, Anything you want to change, you can go ahead and change it. You want to go back to, you know, film. For us, we just shoot on the extended video. That brings us to like halfway there. This is kind of like a color space sort of thing for us. And then, uh, yeah, great. You can do whatever you want to do. And if you want to do any kind of color correcting, kind of same thing, you get access to whatever color correction tools you want to add and then go from there. Um, and that's pretty much it. So the, again, this is a synchronized clip. You can work with it directly on the timeline. If you went by default, it would have made just a multicam clip for you. Works very similarly, but the reason why I chose the synchronized clip is then I can create a multicam clip with this synchronized clip. So what I'm gonna do though, I will just make a multicam with the two Sony clips. So I'll just call this a test multicam clip. And then I'm gonna open up that multicam clip. And then what I can now do, add an angle, 
and I can put this in here and let's make this the monitoring angle will this actually sync selection to monitoring angle and it does and then we can go to the main timeline here get rid of this let's try the multicam clip in there command shift 7 to view multicam viewer let's just do view four angles and There you go, synced up, um, and that's pretty much how you edit it. So then, again, now, if you want to change in this multicam clip, if you want to change any of the uh, B-RAW settings, you'll have to then dive into all the way into the uh, synchronized clip in order to kind of make any changes to the B-RAW. Please note, you cannot cut this. If you cut this here, it actually restarts the clip from the beginning. So um, instead of cutting these the solid, you'll have to create keyframes to make changes. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if not, I'll make a totally separate video for that because this is maybe getting a little long for an intro, but just know, again, there's like a bunch of workarounds in order for B-RAW to work within Final Cut Pro. Um, and that is one of the workarounds that is necessary. That's the basics of it, like how to import, kind of how to work with it, which brings me to the next video I want to make. I want to share my experience learning and using DaVinci Resolve as a Final Cut Pro user, but that's for next time. So if you stayed for this long, please consider subscribing. I'm planning on sharing my 25 years of experience on here and would love to help build the community. So please join us. Thank you and see you next time.